Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Ya ayu wa jaya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses mankind and says, Ya ayu wa nas, O mankind, Ya ayu wa nas, a'budu rabbukum, worship your Lord, ala di khalafum, the one who created you, wa ladhina min qablakum, and those who came before you, la'allakum tatakun, in order that you will fear Allah that you will obtain God consciousness. What are some of the ways in which we can increase our taqwa for Allah? One is any and all forms of ibadah. Any which way that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to increase us in iman. Increase us in iman. May Allah forgive us of our shortcomings and help us to increase our salat and our zakat and our fasting and all those things. And also through fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, O you who believe, it is prescribed for you fasting. And those who came before you are similar to the way Ya yu aladina amanu kutuba alaykum siyam kama kutuba aladina min kablakum. The way it was written and prescribed for those who came before you. La alakum tatakun. In order that you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, siyam, som, fasting, is another way to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's another way we can obtain taqwa of Allah, the Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that shows us that those are various forms of ibadah any thing which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring you success and is going to bring you taqwa that's the what the mu'min is striving to do is please his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and increase his taqwa his or her taqwa and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our shortcomings and bless us khair wa with Thabat al-Sunnah. Thabat al-Sunnah is also going to help you fear Allah. Why? Because you're following the example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That means you're doing a bad. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best of mankind and the best in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best of example. If you want taqwa, then following the example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the way to obtain it. So fasting, following the sunnah, and all the acts of ibadah, whether it be those things in uh, which are in the heart, or those things which are in your limbs, all the acts of ibadah will help increase you in taqwa. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.